Hey, what's up, geeks? So, the purpose of this video is to help prepare you for your React Native technical exam. Now, just from personal experience, these companies don't give a damn about the components that you know, if you know how to use the view, if you know how to use text, etc. They want to know if they can give you an API. Can you take that API? And you can, can you get that API data to show on the screen? So in the few React Native uh, interviews that I've had recently, they want you to call their API and they also want you to be able to search. Now by search, they don't want you to filter. They want you to actually type something in and then make another API call. So for this example, I'm using New York Times, uh, their API, right? So I'm gonna use that in this example and this, this is gonna be a two part series. So right here, I'm just gonna walk you through the first part. We're just gonna get something on the screen and that's going to be our API data and then we're going to add the search uh, feature that allows your users to actually update that data as well. So now I'm going to, and as you can see I have um, I have a file called API Helper and it's referencing the uh, the news article API and the search, the search API. Now within my app.js file, I'm going to go ahead and just remove all this code app I'm going to import use state and use effect I had, a, I had an interview with the company and then um, the person that's giving my interview told me that this woman had interviewed the day before me and then she couldn't successfully take care of the API stuff and she started crying in the middle of the interview and you know obviously she didn't get help but it's really not that difficult and um, I don't want you guys to be boohooing during your interview. So I'm going to do whatever I can to help prepare you for that. Create. Now, usually I like to make these tutorials a little bit pretty, but I think it's more important that I actually just cover the actual the material, the features of React Native that you need for this actual interview. I'm going to make the background color. Let's go ahead. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it white. So yeah, I want to update that. I'll just put the padding. Left is 15. Padding. Right. That's 15 as well. Also, I'll bring in what is that called? Uh, safe area view. So bring in the safe area view. So this. Okay, and we have to add this flex. So I'll go ahead and add style. Style so container. So now we're seeing that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm also gonna import Axios. I'm gonna run the command yarn, add Axios. And while that's building, I'm gonna go ahead and just say, get, let's say news articles, set news. effect axios so I have to bring in axios import axios from axios let's make that axios call Helper and get news article API. Add that bin and then make that catch.
debug, turn on debugger, take a look at what's coming back. So it's okay, so we have to get our results. I'm going to reference results, edit that results. Things looking the way we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to reference the title. So we have I'm going to bring in Google Flatlist. Google is a developer's best friend. So I'm gonna get Flatlist. You know, a lot of these software engineers I see on YouTube, man, they pretend like you know that they they know all these components off the top of their head. I bet some of them do, but a lot of them are, you know, selling wolf tickets. Anyways, I don't want to be petty. Let's pass in that data, and I'm going to reference, oh, actually I actually have to sign this data, so I have to say response data, actually set news articles. I'm going to set it equal to passing response data results. Okay. So that looks good. Let's see, news articles is our data. We're going to render in. Actually, I don't even need this part, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just say text. The text we're going to reference our item dot title. Okay, that's good enough. I say style. Literally, when you have your interview, it does not need to be pretty at all. I did that during one of my interviews, and a woman had to keep reminding me, "Hey, just just get the data showing the screen." So that's really all you should focus on, getting that to show on the screen. So I want to make it large in the bottom. So I'll put that as like 10. Yeah, I figured that. Oh. Okay, cool. All right, so we have our data shown on the screen. That's what we ultimately want. I'm going to move this into some styles and say text. I'll say article title. So next, during one of my interviews, after I was given the API, they wanted me to actually search through the API. They wanted to be be able to type something in and then get that data to update dynamically. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. At the top of our flat list, we're going to, let's go ahead and just import text input. I'm going to add text input to the top up here. Text input it has a value prop. That value is going to be I'm going to name it create up here. It's going to be search text set search text set this equal to new state and change text prop we're going to set this text set such text I'm going to I'm going to pass in my text just like that. Okay, cool. I'm going to add touchable opacity as well. So I'm going to add touchable opacity. Let's 
search okay add some styling to this it's the first of the night I believe so it's easier for you guys to see so we'll give it the height Actually, I want to sign my green thing. I'll just say justify content. This is going to be 
is being called properly. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to search for sports. Search for that. And now I'm going to check out our web browser. So we got a failure. So go ahead, look at what we get in the back. Search text. I'm gonna console log the actual API response. Okay, for whatever reason, it worked that time. So response, so we're gonna say response. Response. Clear this up. Search for it again. Ooh, I'm going to remove my API call. Does it have a title in there? Doesn't have a title. Hmm. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to reference docs. It's right here. We're going to grab this function right here. Pass it in and we're going to grab our docs. We're going to reference our docs and our search results. So if we do this, what's going to happen? It should just show us blank. Show us should, it should show us blank or it should get an error. Okay, that's what I thought. So we have our abstract. So instead of referencing our title dot our item dot title, we're going to say if item dot title is true, we're going to call our item dot title. And this is good practice because honestly what it is is basically they're trying to see how you think through your um, your code basically and I'm showing you guys a real life example of what's how it's gonna happen so you can just type for sports so we can type for I don't know COVID yeah, COVID came up with a more different news we can say women Yeah. So it's coming back with new data. Women is 14 text input women. Yeah, we asked women female leaders the abstract. Let's see. So yeah, if the title exists, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna grab women. I'm looking at the title right here and it looks like it just stays the same. So go ahead and search for that again. Okay, geeks, I'm back. The reason that we kept doing that, I forgot to add an array in my use effect. So make sure you guys do that for inputs. Now it would only call it once. Like for example, let me just go ahead and move that. Now go ahead, console log, I'll just say here. Now I'll take a look at our debugger. You can see it just keeps calling it. All right, so control that by just adding the array right there. It stops at 99. Now when we search for sports, it 
gives is George Floyd because he's an athlete. Or if we search for women, hey, the data updates. So that's pretty much what these interviews want to do. They want to see if you give you an API, can you get the API, and then can you get the initial API to load on the screen? Then also when you add search functionality, can you add search and make search update the uh, data within your screen? I'm going to stop the video here. Next week, I will add a part two and then show you other examples of how they want you to use the APIs within your uh, within your, your, your React Native exam. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you check out the, the, the course I uh, recently created called React Native Without the Bullshit. Uh, definitely, you should check that out. You know, um, so check out the description below. You, you guys can get there. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Peace.